Uh, my name's Elliot Shannon. Uh, we, uh, I farm with my wife Kate and our kids and uh, with help from my father. We farm uh, near Bugledi, New South Wales. We're a mixed farming enterprise. We're winter cropping and uh, beef cattle. Uh, our beef cattle enterprise is, contains of breeding cattle. We approximately have 300 breeders and a, a trading operation. Um, currently backgrounding cattle and running some of our own trade cattle. And there's about 500 head of those. Um, use the OptiWay from August 2021 through to May 2022. Uh, whilst I had the OptiWay, um, I used it over three different scenarios. Uh, when I first received it, we were finishing some cattle for a slaughter job. Um, there was approximately 250 head of cattle in that mob, we, and they were on crop at the time, and we used it for monitoring their performance. And they had a weight range of 180 to 200 kilos. The second scenario was over the summer period where we had uh, just growing cattle on it and there was approximately 320 head in that mob. Um, and we're monitoring their performance. They had a larger weight range though. They were probably close to 250 kilos between the heaviest and the lightest. And the third, op third scenario we used, it was with our weaners after we weaned our, our calves. Um, also to monitor their performance. There was 200 head in that mob and they had a tighter weight range and they were probably only 100 kilos difference between the heaviest and the lightest. Our usual operation with our monitoring of our cattle is usually we're weighing every two to three months because it coincides with vaccinating and we, we vaccinate. When they're going down the race, we vaccinate and we'll weigh them. Every animal is individually identified through a management tag linked to the NLS and we, we scan them as they go through. It is really good at mob average, um, top weight, bottom weight, and um, number of head within those weight bands um, through the use of algorithms. But it, it, not, all, not every animal will go on the OptiWay, so I, I won't get the data for individual animals to replace what I do in the yards. Some of the constraints I found with the OptiWay was, was the, that if you have a wide rate range in your mob, you've got to have a lot of animals go over the, through the OptiWay um, for their algorithms to work. Yeah, it doesn't like big weight, right? Well, it, it, it's more difficult with big weight range in, um, in mobs. Um, it's actually quite interesting, the, the data behind it on the number of animals that have to go over it. Um, it's not so much the number of animals in the mob, it's the, the weight range of the, the, the cattle in, in, that, in that mob. So in, in the first scenario that uh, I used the, on the growing cattle, even though there was 250 head of the ca cattle in that mob, I only needed to have 40% of that mob go over the, over the scales because they were a tighter weight range. Paddock, paddock size has a um, effect on how many have to go over, but in the second scenario where we had 300 head of cattle, 320 head of cattle, with the wider weight range, I needed 75% of the mob to, to utilise the OptiWay for the data to be stable and more meaningful. Um, with the weaners, in the third scenario, we'll back down to that 30%, 25%, 30% needing to utilise it so that you've got the stable data um, to, to, for that information. Um, in, the, in the bigger mobs, with the wider weight range, the, the lead time to start to get the stable data, I was a little bit surprised with, in my experience, you, you, they need to be in the mob for at least a month to um, really have meaningful information. Um, and with the wider weight range mob that I used it on, it took probably two months before we were starting to get that uh, more stable, stable data. Saying all that, 
over those three scenarios, you still could see a trend happening um, through the through the mob, um, through the you know the paddock use when the feed starts to drop off. The information's really is in a really user friendly format. I get a, a daily email um, with uh, at a glance you can see the bottom weight, the top weight, the average weight of the animal, and your your five day rolling weight gain average. The data that you receive from the OptiWay can, can aid in decision making because you, 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 know, you can go into a paddock and think, yeah, they've got the best out of that feed, but they, you know, there's a bit more tucker left in there. But when you, you watch the, uh, the data trend, you can see that the performance is starting to drop off. So you can make a decision to either move the animals or start supplement feeding to, to maintain animal performance. In my experience of using the OptiWay, I really like the OptiWay. I think it's a really cool bit of kit. Like they've done a really a, a good job on the design of it. It's well designed. It's sturdy. The machine itself is sturdy. Um, yeah, it's easy to move. I really like the technology. It's really it's really clever.